Hello everyone. So today I am here to discuss about KMC or you can say Kangaroo Mother Care. So Kangaroo Mother Care is the name uh, given to the process and the process which is similar to the process how certain animals like kangaroo they carry uh, their uh, babies inside their pocket and it was initially developed uh, in the year 1970s where uh, they care for the babies through this method in the countries where there were lack of incubators or if incubators are available also they were not very reliable to care for the preterm baby or to provide warm for the baby and this was proposed by Dr. Edgar Ray and Dr. Hector Martinage in 1978. So what is KMC or Kangaroo Mother Care? So it's a very simple and extremely valuable method of care for stable low birth weight infants. So we have to remember that it's not only just a low birth weight, but it, the baby who are low birth weight has to be a bit stable because if they are very sick, they need oxygen supply. So it is not very easy to give kangaroo mother care. They have to be a bit stable infant. So component. So what are the components? So there are these are the components of KMC. So first component is skin to skin contact. So there has to be skin to skin contact within the mother and the baby. Next is exclusive breastfeeding. When the baby is under KMC, the baby is given exclusive breastfeeding. So what is exclusive breastfeeding? So here baby is given only breast milk. Nothing, nothing, not even water is given to substitute the breast milk. Next, physical, emotional and educational support. So this is very, very important. The mother should be supported well by providing comfortable environment, by emotional support, by providing proper education. And who will give this support? The support will be given by the doctors, the nurses, the medical staff and also the family member, the husband, the in-laws should support the mother. And the last component is early discharge and follow-up. So when the mother will follow all these steps, the baby will recover early, the weight gain will be early. So he or she will be discharged early from the hospital. And ultimately, the mother has to come for follow-up of the baby. So next is the benefits of KMC. The KMC is very beneficial. It's yet simple, economic, at yet very beneficial methods let's see why number one is increased breastfeeding as i have already told you one of the important component of kmc is your exclusive breastfeeding so when the baby and mother will be together there will be exclusive breastfeeding the mother will feed the baby and ultimately there will be chances of giving breastfeeding to the baby will be more second is it reduce hypothermia so when the baby and mother are in close contact, in skin to skin contact, the mother will provide the warmth to the baby. So which will lead to reduction or reduce chances of hypothermia. Next is increased growth due to less chances of hypothermia, due to less chances of infection, then increased breastfeeding, the baby will gain his weight. Next is reduce infection. So when the baby is handled minimal, because baby will be with mother, it will be handled minimal and there is a chances of infections are also less. Reduce mortality. So ultimately breastfeeding is more, growth is good, hypothermia is less, infection is less. Ultimately there is a chances that the death rate of the baby will be less. Apart from that, there are some other benefits are also there. So the other benefits may be like, uh, suppose the mother who is carrying the baby, she feel confident, she feel good that I am carrying my baby and there will be no anxiety of seeing the baby insert inside a box like incubator. So they will be or in a in the baby with so much of tubings and all. So family members, the mothers all will be very much relaxed. Moreover, KMC satisfy all the five senses. We all know our senses, right? The senses are touch, then your hearing, vision, smell, or then your taste, all these are the senses. So KMC enhances these senses also. So let's see how. Number one, baby films 
the warm through skin to skin contact that means the sense of touch is stimulated secondly baby listens to the voice or heartbeat of the mother or the person who is providing kmc so the hearing is stimulated thirdly baby sucks on breast so sense of taste is stimulated fourth the baby's eye contact with the mother ultimately vision is stimulated and lastly baby smells the mother's odor so ultimately the four five senses that is your touch hearing then taste vision and smell all are stimulated with the help of simple basic technique that is kmc or kangaroo mother care so when to initiate kmc this is very important so priority will be given to the infants who are less than 2000 g or 2 kg those are most priority infants where kmc has to be initiated but we have certain categorization also in that so let's see so time of initiation of kmc is divided according to the birth weight in three categories number one category we have babies who are less than 1200 g or 1.2 kg then we have babies who are 1200 g up to 1800 g and babies who are more than 1200 g to less than 2500 g so let's see first one that is the 1200 g baby so they are infants who suffer most of the time some certain comorbidities because they are very weak very low birth weight babies so there is a chances that those babies always deliver in a specialized centers and from them to start kmc we need certain few weeks a uh, few days to few weeks because they need to be stabilized before starting the kmc whereas in the middle the baby who are 1.2 kg to 1.8 kg they also suffer from certain comorbidities and they also need to be uh, uh, to uh, they also need to be uh, uh, their birth also need to be taken in some specialized center but if in case they are not were taken birth in a specialized center then they may be transported to some other specialized area but while transportation it should be noted that the hypothermia should be prevented and how it is prevented through uh, by providing proper transportation uh, facility like through incubator if it is not available at least the skin to skin contact with the mother is the best preferred transport method so this babies it may takes few days to start the kmc once baby in uh, become stable whereas the babies who are a bit uh, a bit uh, weight is more than the other two category that is the baby who are more than 1800 g to uh, but less than to uh, to uh, 2500 g so for them they are generally a bit stable babies at birth so for them kmc can be started immediately after birth so moral of the thing is that we have to remember that the baby who are less than 1.2 kg the kmc should be started from a few days to few weeks once the baby stabilizes whereas the baby who are 1.2 to 1.8 kg the kmc should be started after few days when the baby stabilizes whereas the baby who are 1.8 kg to 2.5 kg they are quite stable and kmc can be started immediately after birth then what are the prerequisites of kmc so prerequisite number 1 is counseling effective counseling to the mother so it is very very important that mother should be counseled properly because it's a very new thing for the mother so the mother should be counseled properly and how should kmc should be given how breastfeeding should be given what are the barriers what are the problems she may face during kmc how to overcome this uh, problem she may have anxiety to handle a very low birth weight infant so everything we have to counsel the mother next important point is the clothing so for clothing the mother should wear very light loose clothing and front open gown is very much preferable and for the baby mostly the baby will be naked except for cap socks and diapers so why diapers disposable diapers because if will diapers are not or then baby may pass stool baby may pass urine baby may feel cold and every time we have to change the diaper we have to change the nappy so baby may cry so kmc will be disrupted so it is better to use a disposable diaper and when necessary we will discard the diaper next the kmc position and handling it is very important how we are going to put the baby inside uh, under over the mother chest so the baby should be placed between the mother's breast 
and while placing the baby the mother should support the baby from bottom and from from bottom she can hold the baby or also she can use some binders and the baby's head should be turned to one side the head should be slightly extended not hyper extended not flex so that the airway is uh, clear and the legs uh, should be or the extremity should be abducted and it's frog like position overall this position we can say frog like position also the infant's mother uh, abdo sorry infant's abdomen should be at the level of mother's epigastrium so one of the benefit here is that so through maternal breathing the infant breathing is also monitored so it should be kept at epigastrium then we have to support the infant from the bottom with the help of some sling or some binder then the mother can assume a semi reclining position around 40 to 45 degree and which she can also adopt during sleeping also according to her comfort and also the mother who is carrying an infant in kmc position she can walk stand sit or even engage in other activities like reading writing etc if she find this comfortable then what should be the duration of kmc so minimum duration of kmc session is at least 1 hour so kmc should be started at least 1 hour and it should be continued so during recovery period hold the baby in skin to skin contact for a short period of time like 1 to 3 hours at a time and when the baby is stable and does not require special care like there is no oxygen or iv fluid at the time we will begin with continuous kmc so we will start with 1 hour 1 to 3 hours